Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and I forgot to film the intro. So we just gonna skip the intro today and jump to the tutorial of how to make a maple leaf, you know, the one that you see on the screen right now. And before we went to the tutorial, please give this video a thumb up and let's get started. So we are going to start with a four single crochet into the circle. You can start with magic ring. I'm just gonna start with two chain. We go slower. So one chain that one chain and then two chain then we're going to do four single crochet into the first chain I'm not sure if, if this is focus or not okay hopefully it, it focus uh, four single crochet into the first chain or you can do four single crochet into a circle you know do it on magic ring is fine as long as you finish this with four single crochet in the circle like this and then slip stitch to close the round slip stitch on the first stitch that we do single crochet slip stitch and one chain to start the next round next we're going to increase so two single crochet into each stitch for four times so two, one single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier and another single crochet into the same stitch again and next is two single crochet into the next stitch one two and two single crochet into the next stitch again one two and the last two single crochet into the next stitch one and two and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round now we are going to start the leaf so for the first leaf we are did I did I do one chain already? <laughs> okay, go back a bit. So after you slip stitch, okay, after slip stitch, we going to do five chains. So one, two, three, four, five. Then slip stitch on the second chain from the hook. You see, this is the first chain. We're not gonna do anything on that, and then you're gonna slip stitch on the second chain from the hoop, slip stitch, then single crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next stitch or chain, half double crochet and then single crochet into the last chain here one single crochet then we are going to slip stitch on the next stitch we're not gonna do anything on this the stitch that we slip stitch but we're gonna slip stitch on the next stitch 
I hope that's not confusing. <laughs> the slip stitch in the next stitch and this is the first leaf which is like which is this one. Next is this leaf. We going to actually this is one leaf, right? <laughs> oh next uh next next part spike. Okay. Uh seven chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then slip stitch on the second chain from the hook. Slip stitch. And one single crochet. One single crochet. And then one half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet. And then double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet. And then half double crochet into the next chain. Half double crochet. And then a single crochet into the next chain. Then slip stitch on the next stitch of the circle. So slip stitch. There. Next is nine chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're gonna do the same. Slip stitch in the second chains from the hook. Slip stitch and then single crochet. Single crochet half double crochet half double crochet and then double crochet double crochet now next is triple crochet so we do it like two times like this and hook this through hook this through hook this through and hook this through again triple crochet and then double crochet double crochet and then half double crochet half double crochet and then single crochet single crochet and slip stitch on the neck stitch Next, we are going to do the longest leaf here, which is start with uh, 11 chains. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Slip stitch from the second chain from the hook. So, slip stitch, single crochet. You see, you see the pattern, <laughs> single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, crochet, and now we are going to do three triple crochet, three triple crochet into the next three chains. So first triple crochet. Second triple crochet, third triple crochet, and what else? Uh, double crochet, double crochet, then half double crochet, half double crochet and single crochet and slip stitch in the next stitch okay. 
here. And now we're going to repeat this one again, and this one, and this one. Next is the same as this this one, so nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine chains. And slip stitch on the first on the second chains from the hook. Single crochet. Half double crochet. Double crochet, triple crochet, half, uh, not half, <laughs> double crochet, just double crochet, double crochet, and then half, half double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet, all on each chain. And then slip stitch on the next stitch. What is next? Next is uh, seven chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. S slip stitch on the second chain from the hook. I think you, you see the pattern here. Uh, single crochet and slowly taller. <laughs> Half double crochet and double crochet and then half double crochet single crochet and slip stitch on the next stitch the last this one is five Sing not single five chains so one two three four five slip stitch on the second chain from the hook single crochet half double crochet And then single crochet and slip stitch on the next stitch. Now we have the maple leaf without stem. So it this is normal. You can you can use the low heat iron to force it to be flat. Or you can put it between the notebook. This one is just the resolve of staying here for so long <laughs> so it's flat but if you're in rush you can put a t-shirt or fabric over it and iron to make it flat faster this is a, a little bit hard to see but yeah it's the same thing and next we're gonna do the stem here in the stem I'm just gonna do um, around this size the same size as this one but you can make it as long as you want and turn it to a bookmark if you want but I'm gonna do the this size which is seven yes seven chains so one two three four five six Seven. Yep, and then just slip stitch along the chain back. Slip stitch. Slip stitch number two. Slip stitch number three. Slip stitch number four. Slip stitch number five. And slip stitch number six. Then you slip stitch on the the next stitch, which is like the <laughs> the beginning of the circle, and we're done. Fasten off, 
and hook, hook this to the back so it look better make You can tighten the knot if you want to secure it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more free videos and patterns and see you again in the next videos if you like this video please give a thumbs up and comment down below what do you think about the maple leaf and yeah see you again in the next video bye